Idaho Life is brought to you by Westmark Credit Union. Helping Idaho grow for over 60 years. Westmark Credit Union. Everything you need. Well, did you know barbershop music's beginnings can be traced back to the 30s? And while it waned for many years, it's recently seen a huge revival. Mark's been telling me all about this. Mm -hmm. A lot of that has to do with the success of singing competitions on television and of course the popularity of groups like Pentatonix. I love them. Well, for the last 11 years, the Boise Chordsmen have hosted the largest youth barbershop workshop in the world. Brian Holmes takes us inside for tonight's Idaho Life. Singing, a passion sometimes pursued in solitude. Here we go, beginning to end, no stopping. A one, two, go. Not at the Idaho Youth Barbershop Festival, where the focus is on a truly American art form. It's the biggest um, youth barbershop festival in the world. And with a cappella making a revival, it makes sense to see where it started. Sunshine. This is the original, the OG barbershop. Oh, no. During the two-day event, more than 800 high school choral and choir kids from all across the Treasure Valley. What's BHS? Or high school. I love it. Will be under the direction of Joe Cerruti, who's traveled the world imparting his fondness for four-part harmony. Decades ago, Joe believed barbershop was just old men wearing striped vests and straw hats singing old songs poorly. I gotta tell you, the first time I heard it, it was none of those things. It was exciting. It was something I, I had never heard before. It's not even just old men anymore. Here we go. One, two, three, four, one. As Bora Jr. Kara Clayton can attest, <laughs> with about half of the festival's vocalists being female. A fact not surprising to the day camp coordinators. It's more than just music. It, it, it takes people from all walks of life. And some of those walk in boots, like Marsing High School senior Colton Hutchings, whose love of song is only amplified when assembled in an auditorium like this. Uh, like with Barbershop, you get to make everything with your voice. So you just could take like a group of people and you've got you know, a full-scale orchestra right there. That was cool. One of the workshop's goals is to keep kids singing even after high school, where the first thing often cut when funds fall short is the arts. Along with confidence, they will also learn the importance of community, as individual expression is valued, but not as much as teamwork. None of them can make this happen on their own. A compelling chorus for the next generation. Brian Holmes, Idaho's News Channel 7. I love it. Yeah, awesome. Nice. The festival ends each day with a public performance at the Morrison Center.